What's going on guys? Johnny aka Tropical Fish Guy. Today we are going to uh, take a look at a couple of things. We've got the pond uh, going. It, it's doing well. I'll show it to you. So the water has cleared up. I have done a uh, water test on this and the ammonia is still high. At first the pH was low so we did some uh, Altering of the pH with some uh, sodium bicarbonate, aka baking soda. We've got the plants, the landscape, uh, kind of where we wanted to. We've got to add some pots and stuff, but uh, the overall, the overall um, outline is kind of where we want it to be. Um, we've got the fish in, the, a couple of fish in there just to get the uh, patio pond cycling. Uh, a couple of things we're going to deal with today is we're going to deal with um, the pH problem. Uh, we don't want to keep dumping chemicals in there. Uh, we want to naturally uh, stabilize the pH, which we will do with uh, common um, crushed coral. So we're going to set up and we're going to take care. We're going to do a, uh, handle two, uh, kill two birds with one stone. We're going to handle the ammonia with uh, natural plants so we're going to take the um, we're going to take some pothos ivy and figure out a way to put it in here uh, as well as we're going to integrate the crushed coral into that pothos ivy setup we're going to make the, the uh, pond look nice with the pothos ivy coming out and we'll um, handle the pH and the ammonia problem with that pathocyte. So all natural ingredients. Uh, let's take a look at what we're going to do. So I've got a couple of vases with some pathocyte. This stuff grows uh, really, really good. Um, this was in the uh, one of the aquariums. I've got some, um, some algae growing on the stems. I don't know. I think that'll be okay for the pond here and I've got a thing of ivy with that's been growing in this jar here that has a good root system that we need to get out of this pot here this base here and put it in there so what we're going to do uh, to handle the pH problem is we're going to use this little um, this is a uh, little Rubbermaid container, a Ziploc container. It is a four cup, 32 ounce, but you can use any container size you want. We're going to drill some holes in here so that the water can flow in there. We're going to put this, these uh, plants in here uh, using some rocks um, and, and using that crushed coral as the base. And we're going to insert it into this into the mini pond, into the patio pond, let the plants grow out of it. And I know it sounds pretty complicated, but let's go and uh, see what uh, see what it ends up as step by step. Let's go step by step and uh, walk you through it. So first of all, we got this. What we want to do is we want to be able to get water flowing through it. We're going to put the pothos ivy in here and. Uh, we are going to put the crushed coral and some rocks we got over here to weigh it down. Okay, here we go. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to rinse out this crushed coral. So the general rule is for uh, every 10 gallons uh, to, to balance the pH, we want to use one pound per 10 gallons. So we're going to say that this pond here is a 20 gallon pond. They say it's a 20, it looks like a 30 or 40, but we're going to start with about uh, just a rough guess, maybe a couple pounds to stabilize the pH. I had to, uh, when I first put the fish in there, I tested the water and the pH was really crashed down. The ammonia was out of control. So first thing first, we had to handle the pH, get the pH up. Uh, the water's clear now, so I did another test. I'll put a test, I'll put the results of the test into this video. But as you can see, the ammonia is still high, so that's what the plants are for. So we're going to rinse this out in this bucket with the water. Uh, 
pour this crushed coral into the bucket. And I'm going to take the uh, clothes here Oops. and just rinse this out. And focus in here. So I'm just rinsing off the crushed coral. It's going to be very cloudy. Uh, so it's very important that you rinse it off. I mean, it's not going to hurt the fish any, but it will be a uh, not a good thing to look at. So I'm just going to rinse this off a couple of times and uh, pour out the water until the water becomes clear. So you know it's clean uh, when you pour water into it uh, and you can kind of see through. It becomes a little bit clear. Uh, so that's a, that's the point where you can stop rinsing. So I've got this uh, Ziploc container. I mean, this can be any kind of a uh, Rubbermaid, whatever. Um, this is a, I think, three or four cup one. I'm going to put in the crushed coral, along with some of these big rocks here I've got, to weigh down the, the container like I showed you, and put these plants here uh, into this. So the first thing I'm going to do is look at the size of this coral. Uh, this coral, it's pretty small. I don't want it to come out of the container. So I think I'm going to use probably a small uh, drill bit, maybe a, uh, I don't know, what are we gonna do here? Maybe a, a 1 8 inch. But depending on the size of your crushed coral, you decide. And it, you know, it doesn't have to be exact, doesn't have to be perfect. We're just going to do the best we can do. So I'm going to put this uh, drill bit in here, lock it in place, and I am going to make sure it's going the right way. All right, Johnny. I'm going to drill into this container. Oh, that's good. I broke it. Okay, so you, as you can see, I've got holes all over the place. I broke the bottom of the container, whatever. It's just got to hold the um, the roots, and the roots I want to actually flow through. So maybe I make this hole a little bit bigger. Uh, we'll just we'll just wait and see. Okay. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to weigh this down with some rocks that I got. These big heavy rocks here. Actually, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these, so I'm gonna take these plants out. And I think I'm gonna, you can see the nice root system. It's it's it filled this container here, so it's time to transplant them anyway. I'm gonna put them in here. Um, it should be able to absorb the uh, ammonia and the nitrites, nitrates through the holes if not it's okay we'll try something different but for now we'll use that and I think that we're going to use this as well this container as well these plants 
we want to make this and I'm going to yank these dead leaves off just so we have an idea what we're working with here. So, so really what we're working with here is this. We need, I think we need a little bit more. This is just all a guessing game here. We're going to take these roots. These are nice algae laced roots. They were in the aquarium. We're going to put these in here as well. And that's pretty healthy root system there. Okay, and these are obviously longer, so maybe we hang these off. This as well, this is a, I don't know what this is here. Okay, so this is part of this root system here. I have to stand up a little bit. So we're just going to put that in here. Just in here, whatever lives, we will cultivate. Whatever dies, we will uh, learn from, I guess. But we've got this good little system here, looks like. A good little starting. And, I, and pothos is a good plant because it really grows fast and it can handle different type of environment situations. So we're going to... I'm going to start with couple of the bigger rocks just so that it stays in place underneath there this feels pretty heavy now so it'll get weighed down now I'm gonna leave I'm gonna leave room for this crushed coral because the crushed coral does the uh, the um, job of buffering the pH to maintain a, high, a higher pH and re reduce pH crashes. So, I'm not gonna, let's see here. Looks like I put this in too deep. Lose a few leaves. Okay. So as time goes by, this crushed coral will fall to the bottom and we'll add more to it. So we'll leave this off to the side, but for now, we're going to place this into the pond. So as you can see, the pond water is fairly clear. Uh, we want to maintain that clarity with the stabilized pH. So for now, what I'm gonna do is I think I'm just going to, we're gonna determine how, how deep we want to lay this. So I think right there, uh, so I think we're gonna just take this For now, lay that there. The uh, it adds a little touch of greenery too. I mean, some of this can end in the water, but we don't want most of it to. We want to definitely. We want to definitely separate that, but that looks nice there. We will leave that plant independent. So what we're going to do is we're just going to let it see. We could add multiple pots like this, but for this uh, experiment here, for this scenario, we're just going to see how that particular thing works out. So that is adding the crushed coral. I mean, definitely we could have added more. 
Um, but uh, we're, we're just starting out. We're going to do some experiments. I might actually even put that crushed coral on the bottom of the pond uh, to stabilize the pH. There's not much left. But it might be a good idea and maybe some regular gravel. But uh, we've added this, uh, added these plants and it makes it look good. These, these, uh, this ivy is fast growing, like I said. It will grow pretty rapidly. So, there you have that. We are going to try to address two, two problems today, two issues. The ammonia spike, which is part of the natural cycle, which is fine. Eventually, the filter will handle that. But we wanted to give it a little bit of help with the live plants. Live plants are wonderful. Uh, as well as we wanted to handle the pH. We wanted to handle the pH uh, issue. We're going to stabilize the pH with the crushed coral. I'll probably end up putting all the crushed coral in. As a matter of fact, I'll do that right now. So really, there's just a little bit of crushed coral left, as you can see in the bucket. And I'll just layer the bottom of the pond with it. see that there's uh, you don't want to put it on the filter intake but on the bottom of the pond you won't have any more pH problems here uh, you might want to add some later if you don't like the white bottom of the pond you can add a layer of gravel or whatever uh, substrate whatever bottom you want to add but the water but the bottom being white actually brings your fish colors higher and I think We've got some hiding fish in there, but uh, that's it for now. We are going to uh, take a look and see. We'll probably spread out the gravel here evenly and uh, or the crushed coral evenly. And we will monitor how that uh, topless ivy acts in the pond, depending on how we want it to look. So we added a touch of green. I'm going to add some more plants later and uh, we'll keep an eye on it. So leave a comment below. So leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, comment, like, subscribe. Uh, let me know what kind of fish you think I should put in there. Uh, once the um, water parameters get stabilized, the ammonia nitrites and pH, then we will be adding some more fish. Thanks a lot for watching. Appreciate it very much. Uh, and enjoy your spring and summer to come. Happy fish keeping. Peace.